Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into a topic one of our reviewers requested the find contact and update contact actions inside Go High Level Workflows. These two actions might sound simple, but they are super powerful when you want to avoid duplicate contacts, pulling existing data, and keep your CRM clean and updated. So, in this video, I will explain how they work why you should use them and i will show you two real life scenarios where they can save you a ton of manual work so let's get started go high level boy ahmed, ahmed at the ghl boy the ghl boy ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed Rashid. thank you ahmed and thank you to the rest of your team So here we are inside go high level workflow builder so first of all let me show you these two actions this one is find contact action and then uh, let me just make it anything and then there is another action which is update contact which is right here so you probably have used this one update contact already but in if not then you will definitely get the better understanding how you are going to use this <clears throat> so first of all i'm going to tell you the scenario number one where we can use the find contact action inside go high level workflows whenever you are going to use this trigger inbound webhook you will have to use find uh, contact action necessarily so here is the scenario for example uh, you will probably use this inbound webhook when mostly you are uh, integrating any third-party software with the go high level so for example in today's video i am going to explain a scenario in which i am going to integrate clickup with the go high level so then we'll see how we are going to utilize the find contact action inside the go high level so for example i'm going to create a zap so i will be using zap here to integrate a clickup with the go high level and this is how i'm gonna do that so for the trigger i'm going to use clickup here it is and then let's say i want to trigger uh, the automation whenever a status gets changed so the task changes and then i have already connected my clickup account so let's go let's select any space <clears throat> and then from the space i will select let's say project management and then the folder is going to be I don't think I need a folder to select here. What changed? Status. And let's uh, hold on. Let me see from the space. If I go here under the space, uh, let me see. Let's refresh. Okay. <clears throat> it should be project management let me see if we have any folders inside that so it is clients project status gets changed and then from the list let me just pick any list let's say <clears throat> i'm gonna pick this list and then the task status so for example, whenever I change a status of a task inside the ClickUp to ready to start, I want to update, let's say any opportunity or I want to update any info inside the Go High Level contact. So this is how I'm gonna do that. As soon as task gets changed, let's continue from here. Test trigger, whatever comes up hit go next and then here i'm going to use the webhook <clears throat> here it is choose event let's say get continue and then here inside the url i have to put a url which i can grab from here so let's just copy this url 
go back to Zapier and just put it right here. So as soon as the task gets changed inside the ClickUp, this webhook is going to be triggered. So send as JSON, I'll say no, no. Let's hit continue. And as soon as I do this test, now when I go here and I can click here, fetch sample. So the sample data will show up here, which we just tested. And when we save it, so it's uh, automatically will show me this action because as I already mentioned, so we will have to use the find contact action necessarily whenever we are using webhook. But I'm gonna just close this for now. So now what's gonna happen is as soon as this inbound gets triggered, I will use find contact here based on any specific value. So for example, I have the email of this contact inside the task of my ClickUp. So in this case, what I can do is email, and then here I'm gonna use inbound webhook, query params, and then here I'm just going to grab, let me search for email or whatever your unique value is. So <clears throat> query params. And this is actually the email is going to be inside the task. So let me find that real quick. It might be under the custom field. Here it is, email type. I need to find email value. So here it is. So we have a custom field of email inside the task of a ClickUp. So as soon as the uh, task status gets changed inside the ClickUp, we will have this data come through this webhook. And then on the based on that email value, we are going to find that contact. And as soon as we save it, so if the contact found, we are going to actually move this along here. But if the contact gets found, then we can update that contact. And now based on your business process, whatever you want to add uh, or update into this contact, maybe if you want to add a tag or something. But here we can uh, update any custom fields for this contact. That's so this is where you can you know utilize the update contact action. For example, you just want to update any information with the value that's coming from the ClickUp. So for now, I will just type anything, but you can just use this custom value to get the uh, custom value from the inbound webhook. So that would be update contact, but if the contact is not found, then the you can just apply this action, create contact, and the go high level will create contact based on this. So if you just select email, and now here we are gonna select a task. And then I would say custom. It's not pulling up. So we have to task custom field and then email value. So based on that email value, we will be creating a new contact. And then all the actions that you will add below here, those will be applied to this specific contact. So like this is the scenario number one, where what we have done is we have integrated ClickUp with the go high level. So inside the Zapier, we have the task changes and then we executed a webhook to get the URL of the webhook. We have a inbound webhook trigger. So as soon as it's get triggered, we have to find the contact. So in case if there is already uh, an existing contact for that email. So when the contact is found, you can update any contact field, but if it is not found, then you can create one. So this was like one of our uh, case scenario. Now, the second case scenario, which I also explained in my other Google reviews video, but I'm going to show you here as well. So the second scenario might be whenever you receive a Google review. So that's going to be, let me see, I think it's labeled as review. So whenever you receive a new review on your Google, then what you can do here is you can add find contact because for example, if you are running a review request campaign and now you actually want to stop that campaign as soon as someone has left a review for you. This might not be the perfect automation to set up for this and I will tell you why because what happens is when somebody left a review for you on Google 
the Google actually does not provide us with their email, but they provide us with their name. So we will have to use their name as the unique key in order to find the contact inside the CRM, and then we can just remove them from our uh, review campaign. So I'm going to add find contact, and then here I am going to use based on <coughs> On second, let me see here. Okay, so new review received, and then I'm going to apply the filter. Review source is, let's say Google. So as soon as I receive a review on the Google, then I can find contact based on the reviewer name or something. But for that, I think first I will have to save this workflow so that the custom values should pop up okay now find contact one second okay so as soon as we receive a new review we are going to do find contact based on their contact full name and then we are going to match it with new review received and then reviewer name so if you see here they don't provide us with their email so we have to use reviewer name as a unique key in order to find that contact so whenever that contact gets found then you can just add a tag or remove them from a specific workflow and if it's not found then you can just create a new contact as well so that's how you can use find contact and update contact. So in today's video, we covered two scenarios. The scenario number one was to integrate ClickUp with the Go High level. And whenever a status gets changed inside the ClickUp, we are executing a webhook. And then using that webhook, we are going to find a contact based on any unique key. You probably use email or phone. And then once the contact gets found, then you can update that. If it does not found, you can create a new one. And the second, <clears throat> Excuse me. And the second scenario was whenever a new Google uh, review is received, you can just find that contact based on their reviewer name and then you can uh, perform the uh, ongoing actions, whatever you want to perform. So I hope you will like this video. And if you do, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channels, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get all the new updates from me. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. The Go High Level Boy, Ahmad. Ahmed at the GHL Boy. The GHL Boy, Ahmed. Ahmad. Ahmad Rashid. Thank you, Ahmed, and thank you to the rest of your team. The Go High Level Boy, Ahmad. Ahmed at the GHL Boy. The GHL Boy, Ahmad. Ahmad Rashid. Thank you, Ahmed, and thank you to the rest of your team. The Go High Level Boy, Ahmad. Ahmed at the GHL Boy. The GHL Boy, Ahmad. Ahmad Rashid. Thank you, Ahmed, and thank you to the rest of your team.